Hi there, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome to TCM. Tonight, a double feature of movies that feel like they could have been directed by Alfred Hitchcock, but weren't. Up first, from 1974, Benji. Just one of my intermittent attempts to see if you're paying attention. Hitchcock could not have directed Benji, unless Benji was laid up in his dog apartment with a busted paw, just watching his canine neighbors through his window while licking himself. Not a phrase you hear very often on TCM. Up next, a tense psychological thriller starring Doris Day and Rex Harrison from Universal in 1960, Midnight Lace. Harrison plays a wealthy London businessman. Day co-stars as his American wife. Everything seems to be going well in their marriage, but then suddenly Day starts receiving a series of terrifying death threats and she can't get anyone, not even her husband, to believe she's really being stalked. Doris Day, long associated with wholesome, sunny musicals and light comedies, began venturing into more dramatic territory in the mid-1950s. 1955, she impressed everyone with her performance opposite James Cagney in the drama Love Me or Leave Me, and she followed it up with intense dramatic roles in movies like The Man Who Knew Too Much, which was directed by Alfred Hitchcock, and the 1956 thriller Julie. After making Julie, though, she vowed not to appear in another thriller because the experience of getting into character for the film was too harrowing. Nevertheless, her husband, Marty Melcher, convinced her to take this part in Midnight Lace a few years later when he signed on to co-produce the film. To work herself up to the hysterical state necessary for the character, Day summoned memories of her miserable first marriage and the abuse she experienced in that relationship. On one occasion, while shooting a particularly emotional scene, she got herself so worked up that she actually fainted on set. Here's the film from 1960, directed by David Miller, also with Myrna Loy, John Gavin, Roddy McDowell, and Herbert Marshall, Midnight Lace. Myrna Loy's Hollywood career, which began in 1925, was winding down by the time she made Midnight Lace, though she was still as vibrant and hardworking as ever. On one occasion, Doris Day was shooting such an intense scene that she actually collapsed on set, but production that day was able to continue because Myrna Loy stepped in to film a different, unscheduled scene, and Loy did it in a single take. In her memoir, Loy later described her experience working on Midnight Lace. I have nothing but the best to say about Doris Day, wrote Loy. She was wonderful to me, really lovely. She went on to write that Rex Harrison was more distant on the set, no doubt, she wrote, because his wife, Kay Kendall, had died. Kendall was just 32 years old at the time. Harrison, understandably, was grieving. Still, Harrison did get along well with Day. He later said he regretted that they never made a comedy together. Coming up, Cary Grant and Audrey Hepburn star in a comedy thriller that also feels like a Hitchcock movie from 1963, directed by Stanley Don and Charade. It's next on TCM.